Ladies and gentlemen, joining us today we have Alex Philip, a 14-year-old entrepreneur whose life purpose is to add value to people's lives and he started his first online business at the age of 10. You can imagine, as you can see, I've been tapping into some youth because guess what? Youth is a fountain of life. Alex Phillips, how are you, sir? Nice to meet you, everyone. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Awesome, it's a pleasure because I said I want to tap into the fountain of youth. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a man going around saying he's, um, he's 49 and he feels like 20, but he said he's actually 69. I feel like 16, <laughs> you know, because I used to break dance and all those other <laughs> things. So, I'm yeah. so today I'm feeling like 16 and I want okay. to get some tips from Let's you. Alex, listen, you are 14 years of age. Um, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Now, yeah. I believe that everyone has a specific calling, okay? And when I was growing up, my dad was sort of into business. He didn't really push me into going into entrepreneurship or anything specific. But I feel like as time went on, I felt like entrepreneurship was my calling. Yes. And I slowly started, you know, doing these little things, selling stuff, and uh, you know, this is my calling. This is what I was meant to do. Okay, you started at ten. Yeah. Okay. So, what was it that you started to do at ten? So, when I was yeah. ten, I believe I started selling on Amazon and eBay. Yeah. So I was doing drop shipping, similar to what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I was getting stuff from eBay, listing it on Amazon, and uh, yeah, that, that's what that's what I started in. One of the things that I was looking at your site and listening to a couple of your um, YouTube videos, um, some of them talked about like you got to invest um, money, you know, like two hundred and thirty dollars and all those sort of things yeah. to um, go on these different drop shipping, yeah. or whatever. Um, so where did you get the startup from? Was it like Donald Trump's father who gave him money? Or uh, what, did no, your father give you money? No, or? nothing like that. Yeah. I built it all myself. Yes. So it's really, um, I, I kept on looking for ways to, you know, build it, make money online and stuff like that. And I came across this dropshipping business model. Yes. And I kept on watching loads of YouTube videos, kept on training, you know, building up the skills because that's the foundations. That's what you need to go big. So I started learning about it and then I just jumped in. I started my own website yes. and then, yeah. So, <coughs> so question then. So, uh, how did you get this? Is it by watching TV? Uh, I mean, I mean, all these different ideas. You, w you watch TV and all those sort of things? Um, no, I don't watch TV. I haven't watched it in four years because wow. I don't support TV. Don't watch the news. Don't read anything. Um, you don't read anything. Uh, I mean, re I read books. Like yes, yes. You know, personal development books. But I don't read the newspaper or anything. Yes. Just because it, it your focus is on the wrong things, you should be focusing on how to grow, how to live your life before yes. you focus on you know what's happening there and here. Uh, so yeah, where I found it was, you know, I kept on looking at YouTube mm. and I came across a few videos and then we just go from there. It's interesting you mentioned that um, you don't watch the news or whatever like that. Mm. But then guess what? You're becoming in the news. Mm, yeah, <laughs> good point. Um, but still, I don't you know, go around talking, I, I, I'm on the news because that's not no, a big thing for me. Cause yeah. What other people think of me <coughs> isn't exactly what I'm focused on. I'm focused yes. on growing and helping other people. Mm. So whether the news picks that up or not, you know, that's not up to me. Uh, I'll take it, but it doesn't mean that I'll spend my time focusing on that. Yeah. I, I like that because I can see the eagerness and the zeal in yourself and um, about what you're doing. Now, you go to school, yeah. right? And uh, your teachers, what, what do your teachers say? Because, I mean, do they see something different about you? Ooh, I think they only found out recently, uh, in the last two months, yeah. when the article came out. And then since then, I've become the favorite student, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> but no, I mean, teachers, most of the kids don't even support me. They go like, hey, you're a scammer, or you do oh, this. They call it a scammer. <laughs> because no one wants to admit the fact that you know, school, doesn't, school studies isn't what matters. It's about what you're doing with yourself and you know the time that you focus on one specific area building that because i might not be the best in school yes. but people keep on thinking that oh, i have to be good in school to be successful so they don't want to admit the fact that i am successful so i, I like what you said and that's very powerful uh, and ladies and gentlemen this is this is very crucial because the school is not sort of recognizing that skill set yeah because the school did not maybe nurture such skill set. Yeah, exactly. It's natural. Yeah. And, and, and many people leave school sometimes not successful in the sense of how we see successful at times. Yeah. Um, but I believe things like um, Julian Hall will ultra academy. Yeah. What, how, how does um, those um, courses, um, ultra academy, how did that help you? Uh, Julian really helps me connect with different people. Yes. So especially, you know, connection is, you know, what brought me here. Yes. And of if course, I, yes. If I want to, you know, 
promote my personal brand, get more influence other people. I need to have good connections with people. Yes. And uh, Julian really helps me in you know getting associated with these people, yeah. with events and stuff like that. Yeah. And and you're right about connections because um, Julian is a good friend of mine, and yeah. um, I support him. He supports me, and uh, and I said I want to get some young entrepreneurs on my show. Yeah. So I said, who's the best person to talk to? Julian, and then so far his support is supplying different yeah. young people who are doing um, fantastic things, you know. Um, but I, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking something, um, and this is it. Are you at where you want to be when you grew up? Am I? Nowhere near. <laughs> I'm Nowhere near. Yeah. I'm just getting started. This is just like the low hanging fruit, the foundation. Yeah. So once I build up the foundation, you know, learn the skills. I mean, it's not about making the money when you're young. Yeah. It's about learning how to do, mm. you know, one specific thing. And as you go on, new ideas come to you. You start up bigger things. So this is just like temporary, what I'm doing right now. Wow. I'm looking to always grow bigger. Yeah. Okay, tell me now. Um, you, you say you're an entrepreneur, you create different businesses or whatever. Yeah. Can you give me like um, a list of, of different, the different type of business, if anything? Uh, yeah, so make, yeah. I've done. With so far yeah uh, so I've done drop shipping is the main thing I'm doing right now and what that basically is is I'm um, getting products from a Chinese supplier yeah. and I have my own website and I get products from this website mar and mark it up and put it on my store so let's say you come around and you place an order on my site yeah I simply just ship the order from China to you so I'm like this middleman I don't touch the product or see it mm -hmm. you're just getting it directly and I make uh, the profit wherever I marked mm -hmm. up the amount by uh, so dropshipping is what I mostly do. I've also done affiliate marketing. Have yeah. you heard of that before? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I basically promote other people's products, whether that be courses or you know, health and fitness products. And I drive traffic uh, to these links, affiliate yeah. links for YouTube, blogging, stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So, <coughs> so if, if I say to you now, I, I want to get into this to be um, as another stream of income. Yeah. Just come and talk to you, is that what you're saying? If, if, I, if I want to do this, like what yeah. you're doing, you can trade me on. Yeah, I mean, I think the best way to start off, um, where is it? First of all, you have to find out what you're passionate about. Yeah. So if you're passionate about, let's say you want to be an author, then you, you have to learn about how to write the books, how yeah. to promote your books. But if you're in you know, business itself, you're going to be a digital marketer, then you have to spend a lot of time. And it's not like instant, because like, you know, I started at 10, it takes five years, it yeah. takes a long time to build up your skills. And I, I d I've done many stuff that wasn't successful. Like, you know, I made a website three years ago and I didn't sell anything on the website for three yeah. years. But you have to keep on spending time trying new things, working new things, and eventually, you know, you're, you're revealed <coughs> and then that's how you find success. That's interesting because I understand mm -hmm. your father also um, is a businessman yeah. and he had some difficulties at one point and he wanted to make sure that you didn't experience that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, uh, my dad kind of did a little bit of a business, um, but he wasn't really fully into it. Yes. So what he always <coughs> tells me is, whatever you're doing, make sure you're 100% focused, 100% into it. Because yeah. if you're 50%, you know, you want to do school, you want to do business, and you're kind of all over the place, and you won't excel in that one thing. Yes. So I think if you really want to be successful, <coughs> like, like Bill Gates or uh, Mark Zuckerberg, yeah. he dropped out of Harvard just so that he could focus on, you know, building, building Facebook. Yeah. So like that, not saying you have to drop out, but you have to be fully focused on what you're doing, or else you'll be all over the place. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick break and come right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Silburn Show, and I'm with Alex Phillip, young, budding entrepreneur, 14 years of age, started business at 10. What about you, Alex? Welcome hey. again. Good, good, good. Thanks for having me. Alex, listen, it's great talking to you, and, and that's awesome. What, what I want to ask you now is for you to run through some sort of advice that you give young people, old people, who sometimes maybe are scared to make that jump yeah. into business. Yeah. You know, at 10 years of age, you made that move when most times young people at this time, they're more out there playing games on their phones yeah. and all those sort of things. Yeah. Um, some kids are into knife crime and stuff like that. They're saying age of 14 upwards is a dangerous time for young people. A dangerous time is when they leave school at four o'clock, five o'clock, you know? But yet at the same time, here you are, budding entrepreneur, showing the other side, 
what would you say to people, young people who want to get into business? This I think that's simple and it's just get started. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know anything when I was getting started. Like, you heard the quote, no master begins a master. You yes. just have to get started, jump into it and start doing something. And only when you get started, you realise, hey, this is what I like or yeah. hey, this is what I specialise in. And slowly, slowly, you build up your skills. Mm. As long as you're just focused on whatever you're doing, then you can you know, become successful in that area. Wow. So. And what are the hobbies do you do? What, what sort of hobbies do you do? Uh, hobbies, well, other than my time business, <laughs> it's just football. I mean, yeah. I don't really spend anything. I have my own YouTube channel, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, nothing much, really. You give a lot of advice on your YouTube channel. Yes. And on the phone, you're talking to someone. And, and I, thought, <laughs> I thought you were... Was yeah. it a plan for that? Or was it a, was it a no, plan or it, it happened? Yeah, it just happened. Yeah. So you're just um, doing your normal a video, video and your, <laughs> is your cousin also? Too? Yeah, they called and then we had a conversation about reading books, why yeah. it was important. And yeah, yeah, because you said, good. you don't read or something like that? You say <laughs> that the first day didn't have to read or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you need to watch his YouTube channel. It, it's really off the wall because it's just very simply, it's just there. And I, I think what, you, what, you, what I pick up from you is that you enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, of course. I mean, you have to love what you're doing yeah. if you want to you know, do it for a long time. Because if you're not, if you don't love what you do, then you eventually, you eventually burn out. Wow. When you burn out, you know, you can't do passion, it. Passion, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about passion. Wow. Desire as well. And, and, and finally, I'm going to ask you this question now. What would you give or what would you say to persons um, to encourage them? Uh, because there are times maybe you might be feeling discouraged or whatever like that. But what is the key word or mantra that you'd want to share with mm. people? I mean, if... If it's really secret, secret, you know, but <laughs> whatever, yeah. Mm. Encourage them as in to get started or? Mm. I think you have to have the desire inside yeah. of you to actually, you know, want to do something big. Because yeah. if you don't have the desire, you, you've heard the quote, it's the starting point of all achievement is desire. So if you don't have the wow. desire, then you can't you know, do thing, big, yeah, things big. Yeah. So as long as you're thinking big and you have like that passion inside of you to achieve big things, yes. then you'll be able to, because the passion will like pull you, your goals yeah. will like pull you to achieve them. Yeah. That's powerful. I, 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 like, I like what you said. It's just really simple. Just get started. Just do it. Mm. And I believe procrastination is a killer of time as well. Yeah. Because what I've seen sometimes is people saying, I can't wait for 2019 to do this and yeah, to do we that. We have to do it now. And, I, I, and I put it yeah. out one time when I said this. Uh, if you're waiting for 2019 to do what you want to do, your procrastination, and that's the kill of time, do it now. Yeah. You know? Some people say, uh, I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow they say, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. So it just keeps on going on, but until and unless you say, I'll do it now, yes. and that's only where you'll move yeah. forward. Any last word you want to say, Alex? Anything you want to say last? Uh, <laughs> Just do what you like to do, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you so much for coming on thank the show. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining me with, on the show with Alex, Alex Philip, 14-year-old budding entrepreneur from 10 years of age. And it's a simple message what he says. If you love what you do, find what you do, just do it. Sometimes we're looking for some deep, secret recipe to do something. And I was, I was trying to find something from him, you know? 14 years of age, what is it? What is it? What is that key thing? And he said, just do it. Just do what you want to do and that you love it. And I tell you what, that is so simple. So don't look for anything deep. Don't look for any deep dreams or anything like that or deep passion to move you. Just do it. Simple as that. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, like and subscribe to The Silburn Show, Silburn TV. To find out more about Alex Phillips, go to the website, silburntv.com. And also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And I said Snapchat, which I'm working on, at Silburn TV. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the Silburn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comment, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you, I saw you there. You subscribe and you shared. Thank you so much, see you next time.